I'm ready. It's my hammer. The meeting will come to order. This is the East Longmeadow Public Library Board of Library Trustees meeting on Wednesday, February 11th at 6 p.m. or thereabouts. And I think we should take attendance and then proceed with the agenda. Sure. Ron McCucci. Virginia Robbins. Charlie Gray. Art McGuire. Susan Peterson, Library Director. Diane Tiago. And David's out, yeah. and I will be taking the minutes yes. of the meetings on them. Yes. Yeah. The minutes of January 7th have been distributed. And after a brief review, we can hear a motion to accept. Or not. Motion, right? Do you need a correction for the date? Corrections. Hmm? No, that's okay. what we decided. No, that was the meeting. So that's all. The, me the minutes are true to the meeting. If, okay. The meeting we decided to meet on the third. But does there have to be a correction? No. There? No, because that's what was decided at the meeting. Just after that, it was decided to change. You leave it like it is. I move the uh, minutes be uh, accepted as submitted. I hear a second someplace. Second. And any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Minutes are approved. I see no guests here to address the board. Number three in the agenda. Number four, director's report. Everybody get it? Sent. I got it. You know, per your wishes, I sent it out a few days ago. Thank you. So, I, I did appreciate you know, that. And I figured, well, Monday, it was going to snow anyway, so I probably wouldn't be able to <laughs> be here to <laughs> do it. So it yeah, just worked out that um, I could do it I at the end of last. I and I'll, I'll continue to do that unless whatever, you know, I, for some reason it can't happen. If you can, I appreciate it. That'll be my whatever, goal. whatever, you know, do what you can. Um, in my report, I made note of the few snow closure days that we've had, no surprise. Mm -hmm. um, and we were also closed at 2 p.m. this Monday. Uh, we closed when the town hall closed. So that kind of brings you up to date 
Maybe that's it for a little while. I hope. So, so where is that note? I'm, I'm At the top of the report under building and maintenance, I, oh, yes. I, I list if there's any changes to the normal operating hours for whatever reason. Now, I also you, where, 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 I'm not sure we have that. Where we, where we closed? Right, 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 right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I missed it too. Were we closed uh, this week? We closed at 2 o'clock on Monday. Okay. So this is up to date and complete. Well, uh, this is up to date as of last Friday because I, I did it a few days earlier. I understand. Yeah. But it, it has February 11th on it. Well, that's the date of this report. Right. But I wrote the report. I understand. On the 6th. Do you, does it have to be modified in between no. Monday, February 2nd and no. February 11th, were there any more closures? No. Okay. Thank well, you. Well, except for Monday, but I'd be happy to put that in my next report. I, just as a matter of. I think record. it's good information. I, I would leave it up to you. I I'll make a note of it in next month's report because it would you know, almost cover the period minus a couple of days. Yep. You know, just to. So everything is in there. Okay. Other comments um, on the. Uh, any other? Is there going to be a question? Yes. That's this Friday. Yes. Uh, let's see what else. Nope. We have our we have our five Kindles ready to circulate. Oh, terrific! Now. Brand new. Thank, brand new. Hardly used. Hardly, except for us doing what we need to do to them to make that happen. Um, each uh, one comes preloaded. We've, we've selected, on average, about 30 different titles for each one you know, that we've either purchased or downloaded through other websites that you can, you know, get the like some classics for, for nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and this was what the friends, you know, agreed to, to pay for, yeah. you know, with the Kindles and the covers and um, adapters so you can charge them up. And also, if they're borrowed, if a patron brings it in, the staff upstairs will show patrons they can download up to two additional titles, you know, will walk you through the Overdrive website and, you know, so we can actually show them how to do it so that if they, I mean, they can't do it themselves from home, but should they want to, if, if they like the whole experience and they want to purchase something like that on their own, you know, later, then they'll know how to do it. Terrific. Now, if a package goes out mm -hmm. and, build, and it's played, does that take the number of loadings from 30, say, and make them 29? Are there a maximum number? No, they just stay there. Oh, so you can keep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's no limit on the circulation. No. Okay. Because some of them do have limits, right? You can buy them. Right, but we've, we've purchased them, and then the person has the device. So it's on the device. Okay. So in reality, I suppose, you know, it's in their home, it's checked out to them. If, if they've finished with a title, they could let whoever in that house, you know, just keep Use going it. or it's like it's like handing somebody a book to read okay. and say, Here, you can read this. But it's one checkout because they've checked out the, the Kindle. The Kindle okay. just happens to have X amount of titles. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the uh, typical uh, checkout time for the Kindle is a week? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Great. That sounds terrific. Yeah. And if, the, if anybody uh, has any questions about that, please call the library. Uh, okay. at extension 1508 and the information staff can fill you in. They have to have a CWMR's library card, you know, in good standing to do it. And um, Which um, the East Long Meadow Library is the CWMR's library. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's not just limited to people with an East Long Meadow library card. It could be somebody from Long Meadow, you know, if they come in and... and want to borrow it, you know, if it's available, mm -hmm. or from Wilbraham or someplace, you know, as long as they have a valid CWMR's library card, either from right. us or one of the 
folks around their town. And, and uh, vice versa. Uh, our patrons could go to well, Long Meadow. I don't know whether they, I, I I don't I don't know whether they're circulating they emails. Have, I don't know. They, they, not, they might have their own policies, but I can only speak to our um, policy. Well, I would just say thank the friends for their largesse. This is terrific. You're very generous. Mm -hmm. And all of these Kindles have been cataloged, so you can look them up in the in the, the online catalog. It will list what books are on each one, so that might determine you know which one you. Right. Um, so it's just a new thing. It's just one of our efforts to uh, help people in offering a different kind of reading experience to see if they like using them. Kind of a try before you buy. Good idea. We can go to financial reports. Okay. And I did send it to people as an email attachment to all the different pages, but I also included the hot copy, too. So, they are dated today, as you can see, uh, 211. Uh, I didn't print. I, I wasn't able to have an opportunity That's to okay. take a look at I that. didn't print so mine out. Uh, for, uh, it's, it should be. <coughs> is, it, is it in the yeah. pamphlet? Yep. Uh, handouts? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. The deposit postings are through December. So this being February 11th, there were two or three accounts that we normally, regularly make deposits to that I could just fill you in that they would be a little bit more than what they are now. Like for example, the third page for our library fines, the balance here doesn't reflect the extra <coughs> $1,100 that we have collected and um, given over to the town, you know, to make that deposit. And also in the trustees fund, it doesn't reflect the almost 400 additional dollars that we deposited into that account in January. And in the library copier fund, which is the second to the last account, there's an extra $600 in there too. So, and Olga sent me the, the last printout is for the Community Partnership for Children, which has just been kind of sitting there, six, seven, nine dollars yeah. there. Um, we usually use those funds to maintain like the laminating machine in the okay. uh, resource room yep. in the children's area, yep. but it's just sitting on $79 that I just have to remind them to spend it sometime, but it doesn't go away. Yeah. It's just sitting there. Right. Um, but we're, we're doing well. I mean, we're, what are we now? We're seven, almost seven and a half months in, into the year. Um, so we're in, we're in good shape. I'm hoping that we get all of the state aid monies that hopefully, you know, our second payment that we usually get in April. I, I hope those funds aren't some of the funds that they're thinking of cutting <laughs> in the the budget deficit for the state. I I, I, I hope not, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a little less than um, the last payment that we got, just because everything like that is being cut. You know, they can do that. So I, I, I hope not, but I'll let you know. That's kind of too bad because we got more money and now they're going to take it away. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Can't tell yet. Yeah. I, can't, uh, it can't tell. I mean, I see. might, I might know more by this time next yeah, month. I'd wait and you know, see. After March, when they uh, determine uh, where to make those cuts. Wait and see. Keep the fingers crossed. Motion to approve of our two reports. Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the director's report date, <laughs> dated uh, February 11th, 2015, and the extract of the Munis budget report dated hmm, February 11th, 2015, also. I second. Comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nice habit. 
when we've completed the director's report. Director's recommendation and or information. I gave you a few things in your packet. Um, one was a handout that I received today at the department heads meeting that I thought I'd just put in your file for your reading pleasure. This is a copy of all the uh, people in town who have taken out papers to run for the various offices that are available. A couple, of familiar, couple of familiar and, names And a couple that. of people that I can see right here that um, have done that. But, you know, you can just look, look that over. Um, and thank you to Arthur and Charlie for agreeing to run again. We're warming the chairs. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so that, that's one piece of information. Um, there's a February calendar of events and programs from the Children's Department. There is this month's edition of Cover to Cover, which is our latest newsletter that highlights upcoming things of interest, programs and events that are going to be happening at the library. And again, if you want to receive this as an attachment in your email, just give me your email address, or you just say, go ahead, Susan, just, you know, sign me up for this. And, and um, you know, But we always have some available um, in hard copy for people that's, who... That's this? Or what are we it's, looking it's, at? it's that. Oh, cover this, to cover. Yep. And I included um, a copy of the annual report to the town for 2014, which you should have received. I heard back from a couple yes. of you who uh, I said you liked it. Yeah. Liked it. That was a That's while fun. ago, though, that you sent that out. Yeah, but I just yeah. thought you'd like to yeah, no, I have a copy so. of it. And another thing I'm, I sent out right. is every, every two years, the state requires that the conflict of interest law for municipal employees, the summary of the law gets distributed to all of you who are either employees like myself or elected officials like yourselves and what you have to do is you know you have it and you'll notice on the, the back page it's an acknowledgement that you got it so when you have a chance you just sign your name and you know just say cross out employer but just put in like library trustee at East Long Meadow Public Library and then date it and then give it to me and then before April 10th, you have to do that online test again. Oh. <laughs> Jenny, I can and help can you do that. And can you do it now? Uh, hmm? I mean... Uh, you can give me that now if, if no, you I want. No, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read Oh, you can do the test online any, any I mean. time from home. You can do that. I'd be happy to send you instructions on how to get to it and go to the... Um, State Ethics Commission website. And that part hasn't changed from no. the last time. No. Okay. But, but you had a couple months. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I did it in July of this, of this year. year. Then so you shouldn't have to do it that okay. again. So do you need like a copy of what I? Did? No. Okay. It's good for maybe. a year though, right? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was good for two. No. Well, this is good for two. I think the online test. You you if you took it in July. What is this, February? Yeah, you, you probably don't have to take that again. Okay. You know, because an employee that we hired in August, she already took it. You know, shortly after she got here, she doesn't have to take that again. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just required to hand this out to every But you're, you're two years? No. This is, this is for t every two years. Okay. You have to get a copy of the law. You uh, maintain the uh, right. record I, of the certifications and the record of this acknowledgement of receipt, right? I maintain this, and then by April 10th, I have to give the certificate that you've taken the online test. I have to bring that over to the town. Okay, so so the records of the certificate is over at the is town at the town mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. And what else? And then um, I distributed a copy of my self assessment for my job performance review for your reading pleasure. And I don't know if you want to take that up. Yeah, we'll take that up later. Okay. And I think, I 
Did I miss anything? I think that's enough. It's <laughs> a few things. This, uh, I noticed you put a copy of the annual report in here. Uh, right. I remember reading that in draft. Uh, looked good to me. It was terrific, in fact. Yeah. Nothing strange, I assume. No. No, it was submitted as exactly how I sent it yep. to you folks. Great. And it also, and it, it's also posted on our website. Terrific. And it will in show the, up in the trustee the, section. It will show up in the annual town report. Right. right. Or, right. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Thank you. That's a, that's a wonderful. Um, and it's a Wonderful great report. Job. I don't know how many of the townspeople actually sit down and read well, through do. the they annual reports of all the departments, but it really reflects all the activity that I not just us, but all the other departments in town. You know, all the work that gets done and, and the facts and the figures. And, well, you know, uh, the uh, things that we do and you do. You know? My experience has been talking with people as to they may not, everyone may not read it every year, mm -hmm. but they do read it. Oh. And they'll, okay. if they didn't, if they missed last year, they'll read it mm -hmm. this year, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Many read it every year, but yeah. uh, they do read it, and uh, there's a lot of uh, yeah. favorable, uh, favorable reactions. Mm -hmm. noted. Well, the town that I live in, you know, um, since I've been involved in, you know, writing this for our department, now. I make it a point to read, read the, <laughs> the annual report from my town, you know, because I kind of know what they're about now. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's interesting. What town is that? Is that Worthington? No, 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 um, is, no Huntington. Huntington. Just down the road. It's in the yeah. neighbor. I was yeah. going to say you should strike yeah. the word Huntington from the first paragraph. <laughs> Very good, Susan. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Done for another year. <laughs> so that that's all the. Um, correspondence and uh, legislative news I don't have anything else to report except to remind you of the legislative breakfast that will be happening in, in, March, in March, uh, was it March 13th? 13th March something in Springfield yeah. March 13th 13th mm -hmm. yeah. okay. very good new business well it's that time of year again and every year now for the past few years I've asked the trustees to approve uh, keeping the fines that the library collects for overdue things that get returned late, and um, which really helps us meet our budget numbers for the year. And the Warren articles are due to the selectman's office by March 2nd. So here it is, February 11th. So I'm once again asking the board to approve the submission of a warrant article. Same amount as we've always um, asked for, 15000 You know, we can't spend over 15000 in any given year. But I just need a vote from the board, and I'll write it up and, and submit it on time. So. Should, should we put it in a motion? I so move. You, you need a motion to, uh, Susan, uh, uh, sorry, you, um, Jenny, your motion is uh, to um, continue our earlier practice of uh, asking the town's approval at the annual meeting, at the, annual, at the town, meeting town meeting to retain for, for uh, up to fifteen thousand uh, dollars in the revolving fund f from library fines, uh, and uh, submit a warrant article to that effect. I guess is that a fair mo motion? Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to repeat it. There, describe <laughs> a words to that effect. I think is that what your motion is? Yes. So I'll that, second. That I'll second. I'm sorry. That means if we go over fifteen in fines, it goes back to the general fund. Is that what that's we're right. saying? Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I just want to understand. That's yep. that's exactly right. Sorry, mm -hmm. Charlie. No, that's fine. I, I I'll second. No. Uh, it with, has to with the clarification. No, I'll second uh, Jenny's motion. Yeah. I, I find the presentation of the warrant article when I've gone up and down as a good way to let our finances be distributed to the town's people because uh, I was asked last time, you know, does it go for salaries? Some some woman asked. No. And I have explained, no, I didn't get into 
how all the stuff is distributed, particularly, but it's right. not it's not to fatten somebody's wallet. No, mm -mm. that she seemed to be goes asking. for books, for office supplies. It just goes for it goes into our operating expenses. It's not for personnel or salaries or benefits or anything. No, like but that. everything's fungible, right? It's in a common pool. Mm. Well, operating well, expenses well, to the extent. It's that, in a revolving fund, though. Yeah, it's in to a the separate extent that fund. Uh, in any given year, I would assume that some books are lost and not returned, or uh, uh, audio tapes are destroyed or damaged, or, uh, other things happen. Mm -hmm. Those would mm -hmm. be replaced, and this would be a fund could use that, for that. Would be, yep. that could be used mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. So the right. money that comes in from fines is very closely aligned with <coughs> what causes the fines in the first, first place. Loss right. of material, that's destruction of material, mm -hmm. overdue, one purpose, yeah. overdue uh, books and tapes, mm -hmm. yeah. right. things not sure, being but, available. But to be sure it's not abused, we have an upper limit. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's, that's a good mm -hmm. point. And I, I thought your point you made protective. the last time about it, not specifically not going to salaries. There's nobody getting rich on this. No. And that's so always an mm -hmm. accusation. So we have a motion on the floor. On the floor. And we have a second. Yeah. second. Are we ready to vote? Yes, I'm ready. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. And we will stand up and okay. sing for our supper that day. You're gonna take <laughs> you're gonna take your custom position. <laughs> you gotta cross the fingers. <laughs> Let's cross the fingers. It's a golfing. May I have another? Hit it hard. <laughs> Thank no, you, sir. I, it's a useful uh, technique I found in follow-up conversation. Good. It's an uh, unexpected representation of the library and, and everything that we do. Library policies for review and that acceptable use policy. Here we are again. Um, you know, this has kind of been on and off the table for the last yeah. couple of months. Um, does anybody have a chance to just read it over. I think we were going to start doing it last month, but we weren't here. I did read it over. So, I, I, I did. Well. I did. <laughs> 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 don't, don't Hammer and tongs. I'm, 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 I'm ready. You know, I, I hope I can answer your questions. If not, oh, yes, Sharon Bellanoid's upstairs, no, no. and, and, and no. she could. She can answer no, anything uh, technical that I, no, no, that no. I can't answer. It was answer. just when I compared one to another, I just uh, uh, put what was additional to mm -hmm. what was the old one. Okay. You know, that type of ah, thing. All it, right. It's, you know, um, so far. Um, I do have a question. And in, in the second paragraph, the first sentence, it refers to two upstairs C.W. Mars public right. inter. Okay. Yep. So now, okay, when we come down to the to third bullet, mm -hmm. third mm -hmm. bullet down, mm -hmm. and I'd say the second line, and it's in quotes next to near where it says thaw space. Yeah, yeah. It says two library adult only computers. Yeah. Now, are those the same? Yes. One and the same. Yes. So what I'm saying is, could yeah. we be consistent throughout yep. and call, sure. pick it whatever yeah. way you want, if it's the two of them. We should call CW them the two CWMRs okay. public internet. I don't think I, it's in the No, I don't have a copy. You know, um, so, so that was... What? Yeah, well, I'll make that consistent. Uh, I have the they, same. They, they I refer the same to the. Well, it just shows you, you folks have read the policy. That's great. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, a, that's thrilling. I had the same observation. Because they're so dry. You know? I, I basically <laughs> came up. Uh, I, I actually almost yeah. the same words. Yeah, we I, should be clear. I, I, we should be the clear. The question of two uh, upstairs. Uh, mm -hmm. We may those computers may be found downstairs sometime. Right. Uh, so my my that. my favor was I was in favor of the adult only uh, uh, terminology or, or or something that you find descriptive. I did not. Uh, I could say CWMR's adult only public internet access. Yeah, that's what I. That's you know, why. Just, or just just change the so that both things say the same. Thing. Either either yeah. uh, CWMR's okay. adult only public. Right. Uh, or uh, but it's mm -hmm. quote unquote adult only. 
see it over your Mars. Right. Either, either way. Okay. But I agree. The consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, down on the, the the third bullet down, I ended up being inconsistent, but I said the libraries to adult-only computers. And I don't know how necessary right. it is to have C.W. Mars in there, but it's your call. I, whatever's well, we should make them consistent. Whatever's the, the most um, yeah. useful. Mm -hmm. um, For our purposes, because we know which ones are which, it would be helpful to be more specific in this case. And, and so my, my assumption on this is that uh, <clears throat> we were really looking for some kind of a smell test or smell check, or <laughs> not spell check, please, um, uh, but some kind of a uh, uh, review, uh, comments, whatever, uh, in ter help of drafting as opposed to us wading in as a group and trying to redraft it in committee. Um, w what would your preference be? I notice that... Uh, I mean, I've got, I think Ron has a number of notes and... Uh, well, it might need some slight grammatical... Mm -hmm. That's my question. Would it be helpful to you if we turned over our notes? Could, uh, mine, I, I, use, I use proofreading notes, basically. Uh, but that, that's, my, uh -huh. but that's what oh, I use for okay. myself. Oh, In other right. words, to lead or yep. line through or yep. carrots to insert, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, would that be helpful if we gave it to you and... Or do you do you want us to go uh, point by point? What what's your preference? I mean, this well, is my preference would be to go point by point. Okay, got because it. Because I I'm just not going to be able to decipher everything that. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. No, I mean, so I, I are, just are you can. are you going to go point I, by point now? I I whatever you want. Well, we could either do that or we could get a little committee together and just uh, okay look at it. All right, whatever you want. Um, yeah, because I, I, you know, like yeah. when I read it, it just needs to be weeded down mostly. You, you know, think? it's just yeah. So now it's just we decided it really had to be beefed more up, beefed really, up yeah. to be more specific. And I, I see your point because sometimes it's I mean, it's like if you get over one page, thing. it gets heavy, and then two pages, mm -hmm. and it just feels heavy to me and redundant in some areas, but. Yeah, for a committee well, I think would be. We're probably the, erring on the side of redundancy to make a point. Yeah, you but know, I don't know. If you say it in one made. bullet form, then you've said it. You know, I don't know how this much you have to. This is kind of standard. We, yeah. you know, kind of piggybacked onto other libraries in right, the area. Right. There forms. You know, and it is hard to read, uh, but I think it, I, I had less of a problem with the redundancies. Although as I look at it now, I, I did cross out it, some it, things. It is a little but, re um, redundant. I, yeah. not. It's not bad. I, I think you never want to sacrifice. Um, uh, length for clarity, and this is mm -hmm. this provides clarity, I think, it, and this also makes no doubt of what the position of the library is. We're trying is. to cover all the bases. But, mm -hmm. for example, on the bullets on the front page, that's pretty heavy reading, and I, as you know, I I, I don't mind putting in more spaces, separating them out, right, so that people could read them, right, but. Um, uh, that that can be done. Uh, I don't have any problem. Geez, I could use my editing function. I don't have any problem submitting a, a on my behalf, an edited version of this, with maybe the changes. Fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Bold. All right. And then we could. I could give okay. it. We could give him. It's just a question of typing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you yeah. have it electronic? Do you have well, it in a Word say, doc? Yes, I do. By yeah, word? if you could yeah. send it to me as a Word oh, doc. No, okay. that's a better idea. I'm sure idea. I have. Then you can just in put, the past, you can just I, do send the that. To a send that. We've already done the work. Yeah. yeah. But okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the, <laughs> the first time I gave this to you, I sent that's it good to idea, you. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. I might have it But I'll send it again. Yeah. Is it in a Is it in a Word? Is it in a Word doc? Word format? Yes, if I've got it, that's great. Uh, oh, and then okay. And I can, I can. So then, do your little balloons, and, and then we we'll send it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll go with Definitely. balloons. That's, okay. That'll All be right. so that, much easier fine. than trying to do right. it yeah. okay. this way. I, think. I just want to say one thing that is new to this policy is the accessing the library's wireless network. Because back in 2006, in the previous version of this, yeah. we didn't have wireless yeah. access. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we need to have something in here sure. for the wireless. So if there aren't any questions about that, well, that 
Oops, one less thing that we have to work on. Right. Okay, so you're going to ship something to I'll everybody. I'll ship it to you all, and you can do your... Voodoo um, worst. Do your comments, you know, however you... Okay. Yeah. Send me your version of your comments, and then I'll just. That's, kind of just I, I think that'll be that. easy use for you. Okay. I uh, don't you? Okay. Well, yeah, and that'd and be great. And stick it on the agenda for next time. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, thump it to completion. Okay, because I, yeah, we're going to get this done because I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> I, I, I would just ask one question, just for my own, because I don't know. The question uh, on uh, page two, under rules of conduct. The, it's actually now the third bullet from the bottom uh, of that of that mm -hmm. uh, section, uh, talking about inappropriate yeah. graphics or mm -hmm. language, mm -hmm. uh, with the express purpose of offending the next user mm -hmm. or staff, is a form of harassment. Well, is it, or is it just it inappropriate be, behavior? It, it could be construed as that yeah. if someone objected, and this has happened in other libraries. Yeah, um, but it, even though what it is is perfectly legal for somebody, if it's offensive, if someone feels that they have been targeted, like somebody knows that, you know, a staff member is always going to be walking around See, here, looking here, at this and they're out. I mean, here, I'm saying this here's, happens. Here's my point. And, and they I, could take it as this, being harassed. That's helpful. Yeah. And I understand that. But if you say that it's a form of harassment and you're going to call people on the fact that it is harassment, then you have to be prepared to prove mm -hmm. harassment. Right. My, right. my thought would be, it's offensive, and offensive is enough. Offensive is enough. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it, it could I, I wouldn't hang it on the very narrow definition, a form of, a form of harassment. I would just say something. Okay. I'm something, fine with that. Something like uh, oh, okay. inappropriate graphics or language left visible on computer monitors with or without the express purpose of offending the next user or staff will not be tolerated. Right. I don't believe it has to be. Yeah, you know, it's no, funny. You're right. Let's, you're, you're let's right. do our notes because I tore that whole thing yeah. out because, I mean, yeah. that's so subjective. It, and if it, it's legal, it's right. legal. It is. You know, it and is. one of the things is, is when you log out, doesn't it wipe you uh, your cookies yes. and everything out yes. each time? Yes. So I don't even understand what that yeah. section. We, let's just do what we, we said we're going to do because that's but, the kind it, of sections that, I pulled apart because I'm right. like that's a, that's a, that's that's yeah. a, that's you know that's, that's like good saying point. let's not put you know Catcher in the Rye on the bookshelf because it offends me. Right. I mean, where do we like draw that. the? Where do yeah. we you know? Yeah. Where it do, could I end don't up being an incident. I don't want to be those police. Right. It could end up. Who are we becoming offending? an incident of <laughs> in, in, who are offending incident the person of, that looked at it or the person that right. didn't like it. Mm -hmm. you know? right. <laughs> it's kind of right. very that's that yeah. that was a it's, sand pit to me. In that instance, that particular point is a little more subjective than yeah. it is. Yeah. You're right, but that's why I bring these things to you sure, to get sure. um, you know different viewpoints and and thoughts and. It, it, no, it was it was one of the few sometimes places. Sometimes we're a little too close to it. It's here, interesting, you know? Ron. Well, it's interesting, Ron and I share similar reactions. It was one of the few places where I really didn't know what what it was or mm -hmm. what was going on. Now I knew what the word said, mm -hmm. yeah, but it troubled me, and I was trying to. I was yeah. trying to fix well, it. If we don't know what we mean, we better not be. Uh, yeah, that's, you ought to ask. <laughs> you ought to ask. <laughs> make rules. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by that? Okay, yeah. okay we, we'll get. We'll do it. We'll do it the way we said we'll okay. do it, and Just, yes, it's a good. It in the next it's of a good piece of work, it, yeah. it, and it's very important. Very important. You have to okay. start somewhere, right? But you also have to it's add awesome. language that allows judgment after the fact, because we can't cover as an umbrella does the rain. There's going to be incidents, right, right, in which judgments will have to be made mm -hmm. later, and if we allow for that in our language. We'll have enough elasticity because some of these questions will probably end up being a negotiable issue. If somebody insults somebody else, uh, we're not going to be able to have rules to cover it. Right. I don't know what's inappropriate, Ron, but I know it when I see it. Right. Yeah. Well, that's kind of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of. Who was who was that? That was. Oh, no, no. Who was it? 
Judge Potter, the Potter Court. Stewart, his judge. name was. Some, some, in, a, in a completely different context. Yeah, right. We won't go into the context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Potter Stewart. Um, Thank you. I'll, I will send that. I think that will be easier. Yeah. yeah. Old, old business. Okay. Library Friends News. Well, we got knocked out two in a row. We went get together on Monday nights. So <laughs> these past two nights, we, we couldn't make it <laughs> due to the snow. Um, but uh, we're still planning Saturday's um, program for the... Chocoholics. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've got, even got a new recipe <laughs> to try out on it. Oh, so wow. definitely... Um, Come and try our chocolate sampling. Uh, if um, for those who are not members of the friends, for a minimal cost of two dollars entrance fee, you can come in and try out all the delicious stuff. Um, uh, seeing as there really wasn't much, did, you know, there wasn't any meetings. In, mm -hmm. uh, however, the friends did get out their newsletter and in the newsletter is basically a lot of information that we share right here at this table and if you were to look at it, you know inside it talks about the upcoming events uh, for the friends but it's also information from our director and information it's called children's chatter from our children's librarian uh, letting us know what's going on there and it's just filled with very similar information as, as uh, Susan uh, gives it to us about the Kindle lending coming soon and so forth. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful uh, little newsletter to keep everybody informed. Uh, if they don't uh, tune in to us uh, here um, during our meetings, uh, they also have a Good. newsletter. Um, if you, people want it via computer rather in, than having it in uh, paper form, they, they send it electronically as well. But they only do it for the members. So as far as sending it electronically and so forth. So I think it's a, a good... I think it's a, a, a good newsletter it lets uh, people know, you know, what was the, we'll say, some of the fundraisers and how much money the friends made on these fundraisers that turn That's around and end up right here back in the library. So. Uh, that's basically what I have to share well, with uh, you. Uh, that's, and uh, I saw that edition. Uh, in fact, I just got it uh, last week, I think, or whenever it was sent out. I look forward to seeing it, and I, Laura, I noticed Laura Palmer is still the editor. She is. She does a wonderful job. She does. And uh, I see her name, and I want to read what she's written so yes. there, or what she's put together. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, I know I see your fingerprints all over it, so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Susan, give us a Give us a, a so that's deal of uh, it's a it's a very very nice piece, and I think people uh, people enjoy hearing what's going on, and they enjoy uh, yeah. uh, knowing about the programs and the services that are being provided. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Shall we proceed on? Mm -hmm. Regrading of library positions update. The uh, members who applied for this have, been, uh, have their applications in with us. Susan and I talked about it briefly. Well, we don't expect a reaction from the um, Board of Selectmen, uh, select persons. Uh, requests to the select persons apparently have gone from many departments asking for uh, human resource support in a warrant likely to be proposed at the town meeting. Uh, but it's our obligation to take the request that we promised uh, the employees uh, who are asking for an upgrade of their grade uh, approve it or disapprove it or make comments 
and to send it on to the Board of Selectmen, even they, if they don't act on it. Is that a fair statement of where mm -hmm. things stand? Mm -hmm. um, so the question then is, how will we do this? Do we have the individuals? There should be one for each individual? Well, you, you know, there, there are people who, you know, di different amounts of people who are in the same grade, doing the same jobs who, you know, for those people in those grades, they're asking to be increased, you know, by a grade or two. So they're kind of like lumped together okay. in representing two different departments within the library. Okay, so we don't have them all separated by individual, is that what you mean? No, no, they're by, you know, they, they have job so titles, groups. they have job titles, so it's the job titles in whatever grade that is being asked to be reevaluated to see if that warrants okay. an increase in grade for that job title. Okay. I think the plan, since this is a negotiating issue, mm. that we'd want to do it uh, uh, in executive session. And we have a second, second topic to discuss in executive session as well, which is other business, the library director's performance evaluation. And so since that rounds up what we have to do, except... Uh, well, I've got some items I'd like to review, too. Do. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, your, well, yours. no, the executive mm -hmm. session, just before I get to my, my thoughts, um, I'd like to review Susan's self-evaluation before we go to executive session. So, I mean, like in a not just reading it before we go in there. I'd like to go through it. So sure, can we table means. that for a month or? Oh yeah, no, we, oh, okay, okay. the purpose here is to go into executive session to be, uh, and then discuss what's been passed out gotcha. without okay. making any decisions. Okay, I got you, okay, I understand, I didn't understand it. routine that we have followed in the past is that the, the group gives, uh, after review, gives me the ideas and I sit on a one on one basis with yes. Susan. Yeah. And then report the results of that discussion. Exactly. To you I got that. So yep. she's not, you know, put out of the docket in a sense with yeah, the jury. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, personal that. Yeah. And in I think it was today's Wall Street Journal there is a discussion of uh, business organizational <coughs> responses uh, to people's uh, ratings. Yeah. And they're suggesting a more uh, modest, non-angry approach that has uh, <laughs> resulted in people leaving. There was a long discussion in, the, I think, it was today's yeah. look at it. journal. Yeah, I didn't on, see that. I, uh, huh. On handling uh, on our counter employee <laughs> issues. You know, you, you like somebody, you give them, uh, you go into attack mode just to be thorough, and then they quit. Yeah. Which is just what you don't want. Or, you know, they're psychologically destroyed for a month, and then they quit. Yeah. Um, so there's a tendency to uh, be more gentle in this yeah. modern age. My, my feeling is if the person is surprised, then we didn't do our jobs. There should be no surprises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it should be, you know, I mean, I know when I do my reviews, I'm really feel like I fail if the person is shocked by what I'm saying. So they're either not being like they're hiding from the truth or I didn't communicate it through the year or the, mm -hmm. through the period. Mm -hmm. It should be more of a review, not a <laughs> not a hammer or not a like a big pillow. <laughs> a, a review. There you Here's go. Here's where you're at. A hammer you or a the, pillow. Turn, Here's where we need turn to the camera and <laughs> say it again. <laughs> oh, I think it's there. That one. Um, so anyway. I'll take the pillow anytime. There but you go. I, but I think what we ought to do in executive session when we're doing the other yeah. is to stream <laughs> Listen to comments and I may call you or ask you individually to discuss it with me because some of the you know, sometimes private inferences about sure. work are really not for committee necessarily. I agree with that. 
All right, so I had a couple of things um, before we go to the executive session. Um, first, the painting in the children's library looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I walked through, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you keep that guy going? Well, maybe after all the snow stops and yeah. DPW no, isn't I mean, busy just with those there, kinds of things. You can keep requesting his yes. service, right? Yes. And because yes. Yes. I mean, I think that shows mm -hmm. how much of a refresh we need in yes. some of the other parts oh, yeah. of the building. Oh, you yeah, know? definitely. And yeah. it really looks good. Whoever good. picked the color, I think, you know. The, the I mean, children's I staff through. with I mean, my okie dokie. Okay, you know? good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> my seal It didn't look like you got the paint for free. Let's put it that way. It looked like somebody picked the color, which was good. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't well, what they yeah. had on sale. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, maybe they did. I don't yeah. know. Well, you know. Whenever you see someone has a, like a bright purple house, I think they got the paint for free. Oh, right, right. Can we get an inventory of all the computers and what sure. what yep. they are, mm -hmm. where they're at? Because yep. Yep. Um, I did go play with them a little bit, and I tend to be someone who uses my iPad. But you know, I have seen a little bit of struggling. I think we need a refresh there. So the best place to start is to understand what we have. I notice people are waiting. Um, you know, do we have enough units out there on the floor? Um, oh, it's the feeling that right now we do. Okay. We, we do. There's very few people who have to reserve okay. time for that. But by inventory, you want to know like how, how many, many we the have. It, I mean, yeah, how many their, are the catalog their, ones? Their age? Yeah, or, how many or, the, yeah, and then where are they at as okay. far as yeah, age? Sharon so. has a, has a good, plan good, for good. all that. It's Perfect. built into her technology all right, plan. Good. I'd like um, to see that. Yeah, you can, um, you can get a copy of that. You were going to get us the survey And the survey questions. questions. Okay. Yeah, if you could just email yep. that to us before okay. the next meeting. Yep. Um, and then um, were you able to talk to the staff about what they think we need for capital improvements, like what they think? or? I did talk to them, but I also talked to Bruce Fenney, who's okay. the building's facilities manager. Yeah. And he said that right now this building is in great shape. Um, he doesn't have any capital Okay, good. Request. But then what about like the like you know, the painting of the refresh or well, that, chairs or tables right. or things they think we need. Well the painting's um, getting Yeah, the painting's done. getting done. That's so a good they know example. That's but hopefully ongoing. Yeah, I'd like you to I'd like you to talk to the staff because if anybody knows what they think they hear what the patrons mm -hmm. are saying and they you know, they're here every day living it. Right. So they'll know that chair, you know, or this area just well, you know. we're constantly switching out chairs, and we yeah. already added more study tables for upstairs. Because that was a conversation we had about a year and a half ago. Okay. And they said, "Can we get more study space right. for people?" You know, who well, I'd like need to find it. out that when from them now, the and not wait a year know. and a half then mm -hmm. before we can get so something like that done. So I'll ask them how that is. The last yeah. time I checked, you know, we were fine for the time being. Yeah. Right now, we're doing a a work in progress with this downstairs browsing yes. area. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be Shifting some some ranges of shelves around to see how that looks, and we're consolidating the new, newly bought materials, new fiction, right. non-fiction. Are all non going to go before the children in the right? cafe area, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then we have maybe plans to enhance that area. Maybe getting a like a device charging station for oh, cool. in there, yeah. and having more of an express computer area for people who just want to, you know, quickly check their emails. But um, mm -hmm. I haven't really brought this before the board before because I'm still talking to the staff about it and we have ideas and we want to do more display things. We've talked to the friends a little bit about that with enhancing their area, the, the book sale area yeah. for that. You know, you're kind of aware of that. Yeah. So there are things percolating, yeah. but we just haven't made any final decisions yeah. about that. Okay. So. Um, and then just lastly, the table. Saturdays. Um, so again, though, mm -hmm. you can get us the computer breakdown. Yep. You can get yep. us what you know the what all the um, your coworkers would like to see for improvements. Since the building's okay, I'm talking more of the internal. Right. You know, what do they think of like just say this room? You know, is there something we could do something different in okay. here? If they felt that, you know. Um, I, or, I cleaned it out a little bit. You probably yeah, noticed. Yeah, you know, I noticed some of the stuff. I did actually. <laughs> I, I, I was listening, I man. I noticed some of the chairs it's now. It's gone they, now. They, they all the chairs <laughs> match. And, <laughs> yeah. 
Did you sell a lot of the pictures? Um, yes, yeah. yes. Good, good. Um, that was in a French report. That was in a French report. Yes. Yeah, good, good. It's almost a thousand dollars worth yeah. it. Worth yeah. It. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So there's a chair. Just because I haven't brought it up doesn't mean that you know we we haven't been. No, but we talked about it last time, and I was hoping to get yes. some sort of response from them. Yes. So I just want okay. to hear what they're. Yep. I think by engaging them with that too, they'll feel more part of wanting you know going in a direction of improvement because mm -hmm. i think we're at the point now i've noticed things in our town and i've been here for since 1982 we tend to let things go until everything needs to be done mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and that's a brutal way mm -hmm. that's a brutal reality <laughs> check when we say okay we have to replace a school or we have to replace it you know right, yeah, right. and if we can just keep moving forward i think that little chunks is a little what was your inches thing, Charlie? <laughs> What's that? What was your inches comment? <laughs> yeah, inch by inch, it's a cinch. Yeah, there you yard go. Yard by yard, it's mighty hard. There you go. So, um, and then the Saturday yeah. thing, um, the Saturday hours. I just feel like it should be something we should plan on for 2016, right. because. Um, I just think we're too late with mm -hmm. vacations and so what who does the scheduling do you do that of the hour okay mm -hmm. so maybe come up with something i think the next step would be would be to figure out how you would schedule something like this because i know from um having a very close friend who works here <laughs> that if you work a saturday then you take a day during the week, the mm -hmm. same hours that kind of, so that's, I think, going to be the challenge mm -hmm. to figure out how to do that. So maybe you could work, and I'm not saying for next meeting, but to try to figure out a plan of how the hours would work yeah. through the summer. Well, the um, big, the big impact for that. summer is in the children's area with all the programming mm -hmm. that takes place from Monday to Friday for the summer reading program. Right, You know, right. they basically utilize all the staff that they have currently right, for those right. days. So if we added Saturday hours in the summer, um, in addition to having that full complement of programs, at least this is what the staff told me because okay, I did I discuss it with them. Yeah, yeah. I did discuss it with them um, already. Um, they wanted to know from me, you know, does that mean we'll be getting more hours for children's staffing for Saturdays or would everybody just be happy with the Monday through Friday you know their their Saturday their excuse me their summer reading program activities and then Saturday would just be you know normal library service you know no special programs right. because they only have so many hours of children's staff you know, for those six to eight yeah. weeks in the very big. I was thinking more that, of the scheduling. Right. I was thinking more. I was scheduling hours for vacations and because yeah. well, obviously that, that's that can be done given enough notice. That's right. why, as you said, this year, you know, right. um, people. But that, I mean, if you could come up with a plan of the hours yeah. and how you're going to do that, and if if that's the decision, it's just mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. How does that impact our patrons? And mm -hmm. you know, I think that's probably the way to do it, though, from what you're describing. Is that Saturday would be just a <laughs> just <laughs> we're open, you know, if people use us and they're accustomed yeah. to being yeah. here on Saturdays, you know, or other times of the they year. Give us two a chance to that. get that in the poll yeah. if we get the mm -hmm. survey out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I did ask some people around what they thought of Saturdays, and I got a, a very mixed response. So I'd like to see what the patrons think, you know. Who, who did you ask? Well, I was just would ask patrons friends and stuff or, like Yeah, patrons. Oh, oh, okay, okay. oh, no, the staff, I mean, the staff will have to deal with what our patrons desire. Well, right, and their concern was, you know, can we do everything that the public expects of us and still be open on Saturdays? And... If we agree that, well, they expect us to do X, Y, and Z Monday through Friday, but then on Saturdays, we would just need to cover, you know, the normal Saturday yeah, sure. hour. Then, I mean, then it's just it a matter of, Saturdays, of scheduling staff, oh, and they'll yeah. know that's in advance. Thinking, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, just to have it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, to that, have that was their major concern. Oh, sure. Was, you know, oh, my now, gosh. You talk how are we going to do everything? Oh, at the staff meeting or just in general? Yeah, just. At a staff meeting? Yeah. 
Well, they watch our meetings here. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, you know, um, will we be open on Saturdays this summer? I said, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute. You know, I said, this was just brought up and, you know, um, some so things have to be am I, missing, am I missing something? Yeah. It, uh, I, I saw in your handouts uh, uh, a that, draft. That was my That's handout. Just a, what is this? Uh, that was just an example. Of, okay, yeah. so this is just a draft. You yeah, didn't watch last month's meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should have came to the meeting. It it was, first time I've seen this. Yeah. yeah. All right. no. You weren't at the last month's meeting, was so this, I included Was this distributed yes. at that meeting? Yes. Yeah. No, at this yes. meeting. What do you no, mean? This, last was month? this distributed at last week's meeting or was it last, month. last, last month's meeting or was yeah. it just spoken about? No, well, no, in was, order to talk about it. I, no, no. It this was piece of paper. Yes, yeah. it was. And this was distributed? Yeah. Yes. This is the first yeah. time I've seen it. Right. Oh, oh, okay. That's I right. heard you talking about it, oh, but oh. this is the first time I've seen it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it was very is, rough. It was so, very rough. So this hours. is not a draft. Oh, this yeah, is not no, a proposal. No, 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 no. But it's handed out today. Right. No. And no. it was handed out last, last month. Last month. Well, why did I get it today? Because you didn't get. You weren't here last month, so I decided to give it to you this month because ah. I thought it might have been talked about, and it is now. So, so, so no one else got this today. I was the only right. one. Right. Right. Because Thank you were the only one who wasn't here. Hence my confusion. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> it was a surprise. And, and that's just I'm a sorry. very, that was just kind of a, a back of the napkin to try to see how we would level the hours. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so. As long as I understand where it came from and why, I can deal with it. Good. Okay. All right. I just so again, I think the next task on that is <laughs> for you to do a very back of the napkin schedule, okay. um, keeping everybody's hours the same, right? I mean, we, we don't want to, you know, and, we, we do it through the rest of the year, so well, we, could, we have to just figure that out, so. And then we can go that for that for 2016, summer of 16. Okay. Are we okay with that, or? Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. It deserves to be looked at, but we have to anticipate problems. I can't spot problems from what you say. Pardon? I don't. I don't. I can't sense problems arising anywhere so far. Yeah, I think it's the scheduling. I, I didn't the the, the programs during the week and yeah. you know the hour the way the hours. Um, you know, by shortening the Saturday, we might be messing up how you are able to schedule people. Right. Well, so yeah. it might have to be something that we think about a six-hour Saturday, even though we were thinking it would be easier on people to have a five-hour Saturday. That might not work scheduling-wise for you. Right. Right. Because if you're taking a yeah. Tuesday that I would have been working six yeah. hours, be just then what do I got to do? Come in on a Tuesday for two hours and a right. Saturday for four hours? Right. I wouldn't want to do that no. either. So we got to make it. It works to just keep it the same. Right. You know, the Saturday right. hours that we have now would right. be the same for the summer. Right. Again, my only concern is is children's. Services. Yeah, I didn't think of that part. Because so, of the reading the programs big, during the week. That's you know, a big. What if? You know. Right, right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we all set? I am. Yeah. I would like to go into executive sessions for the two reasons I described. I don't think we'll be long, but it's, uh, I think, important that we know what we have to do and be able to be to discuss what the group needs to do about, uh, in, in private. It has to be recorded for later presentation. Okay. Do you need a name to vote on that, Art? I think we do, yes. Charlie Gray, yes. Virginia Robbins, yes. Ron McCucci, yes. Diane Tiago, yes. Art McGuire, yes. 